hello guys and welcome back so in this video we will be adding the traffic ai in our game okay we will add ai characters and they will walk using a waypoint system in the whole environment okay so for the ai character models you can use whatever models you want just open up miximo.com and from here you can select these different types of characters and you can download their animations as well but to save our time i have created this unity package in which we have all of the ai characters set up okay their animations and the character okay and also these all characters are from miximo.com and all of the animations as well so if you go ahead and download this package and then add it in your project Okay, it will give you this window and as you can see it shows right here AI characters in which we have all of the characters and animations so let's just simply click on import and when it is imported right here as you can see we have the character and the animation right here okay and also on each of the character the animator is already set up okay but if you are using some other animations and some other character then you can set up your animator like this okay first of all add your walking animation then your dying animation and make a transition from walk to dying in which set the condition die to true okay create a parameter die right here and then set it to true right here okay so whenever the player dies the transition will go from walk to dying animation that's it okay so as you can see these are all of the characters now what we're gonna do is we will go ahead and create our waypoint system so let me first of all explain how our waypoint system will work okay so consider this as waypoints okay one two three four five so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a waypoint script which will be automatically attached to each of the waypoint and on each of the waypoint the information will be stored to the next waypoint and the previous waypoint so for example if the waypoint script is attached to this waypoint okay then the for this the next waypoint will be this second one and its previous waypoint will be the uh, last one okay right now the waypoints are in straight line but in our game of course we will create our waypoints in a way so that they are like this okay like all of the animations are connected okay so now let me explain it back again okay so on each of the waypoint we will have a waypoint script in which the information will be stored to the next waypoint and the previous waypoint so on this one the next waypoint will be this and the previous waypoint will be this one okay and now for the second one the next waypoint will be this third one and its previous waypoint will be the first one okay then the same for this one its next will be this fourth one and its previous waypoint will be the second one okay so if the player start from this position then the player can go in the forward direction like this okay in all of these uh, waypoints the ai characters can walk and also we will make some ai characters which will walk in the previous waypoints like this okay so this is how our waypoint system gonna work so let's go ahead and first of all add these ai characters in our game assets and when you do that then open up the scripts folder in here create another script let's name this as ai characters and in here we will create a waypoint script okay then let's just open this up let me close the other scripts for now because we don't need them now okay and in here create a header 
in which we will say waypoint status okay so as i told you we will store information to the previous waypoint and also to the next waypoint so we're going to name this one as next waypoint okay and these previous and next waypoint will be added automatically okay we will create a system in which we will be just uh, creating waypoints using a button and all of these references will be added automatically okay we don't have to do that manually now we will also gonna give each of the uh, waypoint some range okay the range between the previous waypoint line and the next waypoint line because of course if they are uh, on top of each other then the characters will collide with each other okay so we want some space between them so for that we're going to create a range from 0 to let's just say 10 and then we're going to create a float right down below name this as waypoint width and this will be equals to by default as 5 that's it then create a vector 3 by the name of get position okay and in here now we want to give uh, some space okay using the waypoint width so create a vector 3 by the name of minimum bound and this is going to be equals to transform dot position plus transform dot right multiply that by the waypoint width and divide that by 2 then copy this line paste it down below now this will be the maximum bound and now instead of the minus sign a plus sign we're going to use minus sign because we can't use transform dot left and then everything else will be the same then we're gonna say return vector 3 dot lerp let's pass the minimum bound then the maximum bound and then we're gonna say random dot range let's pass 0 and 1 that's it so now let me explain what we did right here in this get position method so this get position method returns a random position within the bounds of the waypoint where the okay, minimum bound and maximum bound between this minimum and maximum bound it returns a random position okay and right here we just simply calculates the minimum and maximum bound based on the waypoint position and width okay and then we uses this vector 3 dot lerp to interpolate between the minimum bound and the maximum bound based on the random values between 0 and 1 effectively this return a random position within the waypoint width okay so this can be from 0 to 1 or from 0 to 2 okay you can change this according to your own liking that's it after this as you know that uh, we will be creating a system in which uh, when we click on a button like create waypoint then waypoint will be created okay so we need to create that whole system for that right here in the assets as you know that we have this editor folder but if you don't have this editor folder then you can just create one okay but since we have this editor folder so what we're gonna do in here is we're gonna create a C sharp script by the name of waypoint manager window let's open this up and i will tell you what we will be doing in this is we're going to create a window for uh, for our waypoints okay just like we have the scene window and the game window and animator window okay in this similar manner 
okay as you know that in windows we can also open up whatever window we want for example in the journal we can open up scene or whatever window we want so in the same way we're going to create our waypoint window now so for creating it first of all at the top we need to type using unity editor and then change this from mono behavior to editor window okay then after this we are gonna create a menu item so we will create a new option which will be by the name of waypoint and then in the waypoint we are gonna have a sub menu which will be by the name of waypoints editor tools okay then when we click on this waypoint editor tools then we want to open up a window so we're gonna say public static void show window and in here we're gonna say get window waypoint manager window and we can name this window as well so let's name this as waypoints editor tools okay save the script get back to unity and now as you know when we get back to unity right here we now have this waypoint menu right at the top and if you click on it we have this sub menu now waypoint editor tools and if you click on it it will open up this window which will be by the name of waypoint editor tools so now let's try and drop this window in there with the inspector and now right here we're going to create our buttons and then using that buttons we can create our waypoint okay but we're going to do that in the next video